Well, there's something that I am adding to my she shed I never thought I would add to my personal self-care space, and that is a piece of exercise equipment. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, crazy ketos. ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and every Monday, we go live on Keto Beyond the Couch because life exists beyond the couch. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website which is twocrazyketos.com and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time I do something I never thought I would do, you'll be alerted to I it. I still can't believe that you were going to do this. So, recently, it, I mean in the last like year or so, I have really pursued the other 20%. Yeah. So I got my diet down well, I'm nourishing my body properly. I have done some stress reduction and saw 30 pounds finally leave my body. Um, I have been working on sleep management, providing some hedges and boundaries for that with some great results. And finally, I'm willing to get into the movement area. And I have been successful getting in movement consistently if we can get outside, if we can go do something fun, and it doesn't require me having to join a gym. Right. Okay, because traditionally I have not been consistent about that. So if I can have fun with it and I can do it from a home base, then I do well. But recently we have been having some very bad weather and it. I realized that weather is an obstacle that I am going to have to deal with because I cannot always be guaranteed that everything outside my door, the free stuff outside my door, like getting in a walk or going to the park and utilizing the exercise equipment that's outside, I can count on. So I've done something crazy, Joe. We are going to bring an exercise equipment piece into my she shed. I know, I can't believe you're doing this. You kind of told me that, like, listen, if you got two out of the three things of the other 20%, that was good enough, but you've right. decided not so much. I don't want to stop short of my potential. Yeah. I believe that I can make a change in the movement area. So we've looked at a bunch of different pieces of equipment that could help with cardio, but also help with like strength training. And there were a lot of different things that we were looking for, something that Rachel enjoys doing, but then also, something that's not gonna take up a tremendous amount of space, but something that could give you more than one thing. And we started looking at like the Peloton bicycle. Oh, huh, it's too expensive though. Until we saw the price tag. <laughs> yeah. And you know, the thing is, is like the Peloton bicycle is like $2,500. And then the app is like another like $44 a month. So that felt like a gym, you know, feeling to it like right. it felt like a commitment that was on the gym level and i don't want to get into something that i'm going to have to pay 45 dollars a month to keep up with we ended up discovering the yeasel exercise bike and the thing is is that this bicycle is pretty much like a peloton yeah. as a matter of fact when you look at this and then you look at the peloton they look identical almost like they were made in the same factory. Right, because this isn't like a knockoff, like I'm gonna go buy, you know, my hair dye at Dollar Tree, where I really think that there's going to be a huge difference in what it's gonna be able to provide and, right. and how substantial it's going to be. I really believe that we're looking at something that is not going to be as expensive as what is the most popular option, but I think that it's going to be something that's in my budget, but also a quality product. Well, when you talk about it in your budget, like I said, the Peloton bicycle is like $2,500. Not the budget. The Yeasel, which again, when you look at the pictures, they look identical and the apps look identical and all of that. 
The Yeesaw comes in at $499 and when you use our link down below for our subscribers, they gave us an additional $100 discount. So now you're going from $2,400 to $400. And when I break that up across just one year, so I, I have to think in terms of like short term goals, right? Because if I'm like, hey, 20 years from now, I'm gonna be really ripped. It's too much for me to plan. But if I say, okay, in this next year, if I commit to this and I divide $400 by 12, then I'm thinking, okay, this is a deal. This is worth me investing in it and then trying to really make some changes in the next 12 months. $400 seems reasonable to me. And it's going to, yes, be something that takes up space in my she shed and space is a commodity for me. Like I have to be really intentional about what I put in my very small office, but I feel like if it is there, I will use it. Okay, so let's get into the whole review of the Yeasel bike let's, and we'll let you know what we think of it. We'll start off with the assembly. It basically comes in two different boxes. You get the box with the bicycle and then it also comes in a box with the screen. And you also have to identify when you're purchasing it, what type of phone you're using because you're going to use your phone to put the app and other stuff onto the screen. So you tell it, do you have a USB-C connection on your phone or do you have a lightning cable? Now, if you have the newest iPhone 15, you would just choose USB-C. If you have anything before that, you would choose lightning or Androids. You're gonna choose USB-C or whatever. So, but it comes in two boxes. So you get the bicycle and then you get the screen. Putting it together is super simple. It took me about 30 minutes and that was with a baby running around the house right. and filming it. So for the average person, I think it's gonna take about 15 or 20 minutes. Most of it is together. It's just putting the pedals on, putting the seat in, putting the handlebars on, and then attaching the screen. The second box is the screen. It's got a nice big screen, and it's gonna allow you to run the whole app as well as cast other things because something that's different between the Yeesol and the Peloton is the Peloton actually like locks you in, so far as I know, to their app. Like You have to use their app. With the Yeesol, you don't have to use their app. You can use their app. That's gonna give you all kinds of exercise programs, which we're gonna go over. Um, it's got like classes, like you can do spin classes. It's got yoga. It even comes with a set of weights that you can do exercises. And in addition to all of that, using their app, which only costs $10 a month as opposed to $44 right. a month, uh, you can also cast to it. So you can cast a movie, a YouTube Hello. video. So you could be watching Two Crazy Ketos while you're doing your workout. You can even cast the original Peloton app or other fitness apps. So if you have other fitness apps, you could put that on the screen and actually follow along those. That was really a selling point for me because I know that I can mindlessly watch television and then also do something else. So why not exercise while I am watching a show that I like or a movie that I like. So as much as I'm really excited that there are classes to take without me having to leave my house and you know go do a stationary bike class at a gym, I also like the fact that I can watch a show that I wanna watch while I'm exercising. I feel like that's going to be sustainable for my personality. So as far as quality of the machine, I think it's built very well. The welds are very good. Yeah. Um, it uh, is well built. The seat is nice and comfortable, super cushy for the most that you can get with a yeah. bicycle seat. The handles are really comfortable. They got a nice padding on them. You don't feel like you're just gripping a cheap frame. And overall, it's a really good quality machine. Now, some of the features on the machine, we start off, like I said, you've got these nice padded handles all up here. You've got an adjustment down here where you're gonna simply unscrew it and then you can raise, you just pull this out, you can raise up your handlebars. You have a manual tension that's gonna use magnets that gives you the resistance. You've got a nice padded seat and the seat is also adjustable, not only up and down, but also front to back. Then you have your pedals here and one of the things about the Peloton is 
for that $2,400, it doesn't include the shoes that you need to use the pedals. I'm honestly not surprised because a lot of times when you get a very expensive product, it's like, why stop with the unit? Why not have add-ons that are super costly as well? Right. So these pedals you can use with regular shoes. Which so I'm it's going nice to. that they have just standard pedals. Yeah. It works on magnets in order to have the resistance. And in addition, it also has two wheels on the front so that you can easily move it around. So after you're done with your workout, you can go ahead and just put it away. Then you have a screen here that you're able to use, but the screen actually rotates out so that you can do your yoga, weightlifting, and they have classes that all go along with that. Which I think is really cool. So when you first set up the bicycle, the first thing you do is go ahead and plug it in and then you connect your phone to the Yeesol bicycle and it connects via Bluetooth. You download the app, it's got a QR code to be able to do that. And then you're gonna download it, you create your account, and then every time you use the bicycle, you simply open up the app, it's gonna tell you, hey, open up the app. As soon as you open up the app, it connects to the bicycle. On here, you actually have some different things where you can set weekly goals. You can set what your streak is whenever you want to do things. And then there's different types of programming. And you have like whatever program you're currently working on. They have ones recommended for you that allows you to have like 20 minutes, 30 minutes, whatever you want. And in addition, they have things like just ride. So you can hit like just ride. And when you're hitting just ride on the screen, what you basically see is how fast you're going, how much wattage you're doing, what your percentage is, how many calories you're burning, what your RPM is, what your current resistance set at, and the distance. One of the things I really like about this is how quiet it is. So my she shed happens to be between the two boys' bedrooms. So when I am up early in the morning, I don't wanna disrupt their sleep. So I like the fact that I can work out, do what I need to do, and I don't need to wake anybody up if I don't want to. Now, in addition to the Just Ride, you also have Scenic Ride. So you can press Scenic Ride and you get all of these different places that you could go basically bicycle riding in. So you have like France, different areas of China, New Zealand, Canada, uh, the Winter Forest, Switzerland. So where do you wanna go riding? I would like to go to Switzerland, please. So we're gonna go to Switzerland, and then it's gonna ask you, do you wanna do 20 minutes or 30 minutes? Let's start with 20 minutes. So we'll do 20 minutes, and now up on your screen, it's basically got Switzerland. So right away, the fact that the screen is so big and the quality is so nice for the picture, it really feels like I'm actually outside enjoying a bike ride. And certainly this is scenery I do not see in South Florida. We have no elevation. So it's really nice to see kind of a mountainous area and feel like we're outdoors as much as possible. I really like the fact that it's not in an intrusive way, but it's keeping a record of all of the resistance, the cadence, like I'm seeing you know, calories and miles. It's really nice that I have all of this data if I want to take a look at it, but it's not intrusive as far as what I'm seeing on the screen there. It's really nice that I can also just reach down here and change the resistance. I also really like the fact that there are different workout options. Like I can have a workout and they have beginners, intermediate, advanced, because certainly I'm gonna need to start with the beginners, but at least they have some classes already set up for me. I love the fact that they're going through every single detail, like what to set the resistance at, like how am I supposed to be moving my legs, how, at what frequency, where am I supposed to hold on to? I like that every detail is covered. Woo, I'm gonna tell you, even a 20 minute workout at the beginner level, is going to be a workout for me. I understand that it is going to be a challenge for me to incorporate this into my life every single day. But I know from reading Atomic Habits that I am more likely to utilize something that's right in front of me, right in my line of sight. And I believe this is going to help me to make this a daily habit. All right, so what is super cool to me is I don't really even need the app if I don't want it. So as much as it's awesome that there are in-program uh, workouts on the app, I can watch two crazy ketos while I work out or I can watch a television show while I work out. And I think that being able to watch something fun 
is going to be the help I need to make this a daily habit because if it feels like it is a workout for me, like I'm being forced to do something, I may rebel against that. So my intention is to get more workouts in. So I'm going to leverage the fact that I wanna watch the next episode of my show or I want to watch a movie. And so, okay, watch the movie, Rachel. You just need to get on the bike and watch the movie. And the other thing is, is you're able to not only cast it wirelessly using like AirPlay or something like that, you can also wire in and you can actually cast this to your larger television screen. So you could have like Peyton sitting on the ground, watching cartoons, watching whatever workout you're doing, looking at it while you're doing it. So everybody can kind of get in on the fun at the same time. So it's really nice the fact that you are not locked into the app. I think you're right. gonna get a lot out of the app, especially for $10 a month, because for $10 a month, you're getting personal instruction, sort of, you're getting exercise classes, you're getting them telling you exactly how to do it, how fast to do it. It's kind of like a hit because I know for me, if I don't have somebody telling me, it's like on my rower where it's like, okay, it's time to go faster. I'm just going to kind of right. cruise along. Whereas Stay the, the app speed. is, okay, we're going to go for 60 second balls to the wall. Then we're going to slow down. Then we're going to stop. Then we're going to go like middle. And sometimes you need that coach to help you along. And listen, personal coaches that do that, they're usually like $100 an hour or more. Oh, or yeah. you have to go join a CrossFit or something like that. Another thing that's cool about this is you can turn the screen to the side and even angle it down because there's not just bike classes on here. There's also yoga classes. There's strength training classes. So I feel like you get a lot of different exercises in one unit. So as far as I'm concerned, I feel like I'm getting a Peloton experience without the Peloton price. I like the fact that you've got weights included. There's an awesome app. There's all kinds of classes I can take. There's even two water bottle holders. The only thing I wish it did have was a place for me to set my phone. But for me, I'm just going to use one of the water bottle holders as the place to just store my phone while I'm working. So overall, I'm really impressed with the Yisol bicycle because again, like you said, you're getting a lot of the features, if not all of the features of the Peloton. It's just as well built. From what I understand, it's actually easier to put together. If you go watch videos of people putting together the Pelotons, it's a pain in the neck. I mean, this came in just a few parts and I think that a 10 year old could probably build it. I thought that for the price, we were going to get an Ikea bookshelf, so <laughs> to speak. Like I thought it was going to take a lot more handiwork to put it together. So I was pleasantly surprised at how it came, how sturdy it is. That was the other thing. I was worried that it would not be sturdy because we were getting it so inexpensive, but I'm happy to see that it is space saving in the house, very, very sturdy, easy to put together. And I was also very impressed with the electronics on it. The fact that the screen is very vivid, the sound quality is good. It doesn't feel like I'm getting one of those Black Friday television sets for $19 that you really can't utilize. And the way it's all constructed it really stink means a lot because if it's like got bad welds, if it seems like it's cheap metal, they're gonna fall apart. And even if you're saving money, you still want it to last for a while. Right. Like there's no sense in buying a $400 bicycle to save $2,000 to have that bicycle break in a few months because right. of poor quality. But you've got all that in there. And I think the thing that I really like the most about it is you're not locked into the app. So many of these pieces of exercise equipment that come with television screens and apps and workout programs, they charge a ridiculous amount of money for the workout program. And then they lock you in where if you're not paying that ridiculous amount of money, you have a giant paperweight that becomes like a place to hang your clothes. Which this is not allowed to do in my office in particular because I have my chair, I have my desk, and that is it. By design, I have left the space very open and, and empty because that is a self-care room, a sanctuary for me. So if I'm going to bring something into that space, it needs to be utilized. And that's sort of my other um, thought after reading Atomic Habits. Like I, I'm, I'm very intentional about that space. And so if it's in this room, I'm going to utilize it. And I think that this is space saving enough 
that it's a practical unit for that room. So overall, we're super impressed with the Yeesaw bicycle, especially when you factor in the price, the fact that you're not locked into the app, you know, everything about it, the build quality. I think it's something that if you're in the market for a Peloton type bicycle, this is something to definitely check out. Now, again, we will leave a link down below for it. And if you use that link, you save $100 off of the price. That's a pretty significant coupon. Let us know down in the comment section, are you looking for exercise equipment? Do you have something? Are you currently going to the gym? Let us know down in the comment section. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos. We have linked right over here. Also, make sure you take out the most recent videos I'm gonna put right over there. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time I move my body, you'll be able to do Till it. Till next time. Bye. Bye.